Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex over at Laser Everything, and I've got a really quick troubleshooting tutorial for you today, uh, just to get rid of some of those pesky errors that you might be seeing on EasyCAD. If you've been getting ready to engrave and you hit the mark button and you see the error, current mark count is already greater than total count, and you're like, what the heck? I just want to engrave. Uh, don't worry, it's actually a really quick fix, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to deal with that right now, so don't go anywhere. So here we are in EasyCAD 2 and you've got your circle, you worked so hard on this circle and you go and you hatch it and you're like, that's the best hatch ever. I'm so excited to engrave this circle. Uh, and you go ahead and hit the mark button and you get this error. Current mark count is already greater than total count and it refuses to run. Um, what the heck is this? Well, it's not that bad, uh, don't worry. The fix is super, super simple. Um, we'll go ahead and hit okay here. And let's look down here by our red uh, or light, depending on your version of EasyCAD, and mark buttons, uh, we can see two numbers. The total number, uh, which is cut off here, total n, and uh, part number, right? Now, if we back up here and we set our total number to one, um, and I'm actually, for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and undo the hatch on this circle. So our total number is one. If we hit mark, uh, it's gonna run that circle one time and then the job is gonna be done. If we set the total number to three and we mark one, two, three, uh, now the job is gonna be complete. If we hit mark again, uh, it's going to throw this error. Current mark count is already greater than total count. And all this means is that your total number uh, is is your goal, right? And we've run our part enough times to reach the goal, uh, and now we cannot run it anymore. The fastest way to fix this is to simply hit the reset button, right? If we reset our part number to zero, as long as the total number is greater than the part number, the job will run the way we expect it to. Um, but if that is annoying to you, and it should be, it's a horrible feature, uh, current mark count, again, is already greater than total count. The fix is super easy. Uh, here's the, the permanent fix. We're gonna go into our F3 parameters. Uh, we're gonna come to the other tab up here, and we're gonna go ahead and uncheck this box. Disable mark when reach total count. Uh, in English, what that says is, when your part number is equal to your total number, uh, disable marking, right? And we don't want to disable marking, we just want our laser to run when we push the button telling it to run. So all we need to do is uncheck this box and hit okay. And now, uh, even when these numbers are equal, we can hit mark and it's gonna continue to run the circle uh, as many times as we want. So if you are annoyed by this error, again, super easy fix, we're already done. You can run parts to your heart's content and uh, nothing's gonna get in your way. So that's how you fix that problem. I hope you guys got value out of this video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. Let everybody else know the content is good. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get notified the next time I upload a video. If you love the channel and it's the best thing that's ever happened to you, consider signing up for the Laser Master Academy. It's the number one way to support the channel, make sure we can keep doing the show for you. Comes with a bunch of awesome bonus goodies like tons and tons of bonus live streams, bonus episodes of the Laser Source podcast, uh, laser parameter libraries, and a whole lot more. Definitely go check it out, it's a great community over there. And uh, if you get stuck during this tutorial, if something's not working correctly, you can also check out the Facebook group or Discord community. Uh, awesome, 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 awesome communities filled with amazing people uh, who wanna help. They, they really wanna help you, even if you're brand new to Galvo lasers or any kind of lasers in general, um, we're here to support you. So check those out, links down in the description. And uh, I think that's it guys, I think that's the end for this one. I hope this tutorial helped you out. I, I hope you were able to overcome this stupid issue, it's so dumb, uh, but it trips up so many people. I get this question all the time. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.